Craft Time with Miss Sissy for Cinco de Mayo. We're going to be making a sombrero using a paper plate and a cup. All right, so we're using a paper plate, and as you see, I was able to find a paper plate. These are all things that hopefully you have right around the house with you. And this is going to be a little bit of a messy craft because we are using markers, and we're also going to be using a glue stick. So I didn't want this side of my plate. I'm going to use this side of my plate. And I was lucky and we had a white cup here at the library. You might have a cup like a red cup at home or a green cup. That just saves you because then you don't have to color. But I love coloring so I was very happy that we had a white cup. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of my handy dandy markers and I'm going to draw where I want my cup to go. And I'm going to glue all my gluing I'm going to do last. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start coloring my cup. You can color your cup however you would like for Cinco de Mayo, or you can do whatever theme you would like. So if you like Paw Patrol, you could put paws all over it. If you like rainbows, you could draw, you could put a rainbow on your cup. I'm just going to do different patterns on my cup. And remember, no crafts are perfect. And my coloring is not perfect. I'm going to do blue next. For each of my sections, I'm drawing a line so I'll try my best not to go outside of my section. Like I said, nothing is perfect. If you'd like your lines to be perfect, you might want to use a ruler. Now, I'm not going to be using glitter on my sombrero. However, if you'd like to use glitter on your sombrero, you are welcome to. Whatever you have at home. All right. All right, I'm gonna do a yellow layer next. I'm doing my guideline first. And then I think I'm gonna color my yellow in. Now the markers that I'm using are all washable markers because I definitely don't want any marker all over my hands later. orange next. I'm gonna do some polka dots for this layer. Alright, I'm drawing my guideline. So I'm gonna go outside of my guideline. Alright, there are my polka dots. Hmm, what do I want to use next? Hmm, pink next. I want to use, oh, I'm gonna use purple. And do a big old purple stripe. All right, I'm doing my guideline first. All right, and there's our purple layer. Let me see, I have a pretty gray here. I'm gonna do gray next. Let me see, what can I do with gray? I'm almost near the top. I think I'm gonna do something extra special for the top part. I'm going to do lightning bolts here. I'm just doing little zigzags for my lightning bolts. And one great thing about lightning bolts is lightning bolts zig and zag everywhere and no two lightning bolts look alike. Alright, and there are my lightning bolts. And I'm going to do pink stars for this top portion. Let me color my stars in. Best part about stars, you can always fix your stars by adding more marker. So if one of your points is longer than the other, you can just even them all out, which happens a lot for me. And for the very, very top of my sombrero, I'm going to do red, green, and white stripes because that's the Mexico flag. And I'm going to be switching back and forth, so I'm going to leave the tops off. All right, green's next. 
And like I said, this does not have to be perfect. And for my white, since my cup's already white, I'm just gonna leave an extra space for white. Then I'm gonna draw a line for my red. Let's draw my red stripe. Okay. See? So red, green, and white. And then red, green, and white. Put my lids back on. You can see I have red, green, white, red, green, and white. All right, now I'm not done yet. I am going to get some pom poms out just so I can start getting ready. Look at all the pretty colors. All right, I know I want to put my cup on last. And I know I want to put some pom poms around the brim of my sombrero. So I think for this little middle section here, I need to put some color in there too. All right, I'm gonna start with some purple. I think I'm just gonna draw arrows. Gotta have our color pink. Gotta have some green. Oh, that's a pretty shade of green. Right? Some gray. Gonna have some yellow for the sun. Or yellow for daffodils. I haven't used orange yet. Even though I have a blue circle, I do need to do a blue arrow. Oh, I don't have red yet. We cannot forget our color red. And we use the color brown. We haven't used the color brown today yet, so we'll use the color brown a little bit. And what I'm gonna do, every arrow I have pointing, I'm gonna put a pom-pom. All right. And I'm gonna use my glue stick. So this might be where parents might need to help some with the glue stick. Make sure you use plenty of glue. And I definitely want different colors than the colors of my arrows. So I have green arrow. I didn't want a green pom-pom, I put an orange pom-pom. Purple, I have a yellow pom-pom. Pink, uh, let's try a blue. Oh, that looks really nice. As you see, I am using plenty of glue so my pom-poms will stick. All right, let me see, what do I wanna use? All right, I can't use green. Oh, I can use purple. That's silver, I want a bright color. Let me use. Maybe I should use green. Let me use green because I already have yellow over here. All right in this yellow. Hmm. Use an orange. Yes, that looks beautiful. This orange. I'm going to use pink. I haven't used pink yet. All right. This blue, I'm gonna use a purple. Then they're right across from each other. And then this red, what do I wanna use for that? Hmm, don't wanna use a blue, I'll use a green. All right, they're all my cute little pom-poms. I'm gonna let those dry a little bit. And like I said, this is last. Let me see, I have a black marker in here, do I? I might have to use the gray. Let me see all the colors I have in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to use gray. I want a small gray. I'm gonna use a small gray. 
I'm just gonna do little connector lines so that they're all connected. You'll see my connector lines when I come around town. There are my connector lines right there. And you can make them as squiggles in between your pom-poms if you'd like. Or just like I'm doing, I'm just doing little connector lines. And this is where if you had some glitter, you could put a little bit of glue and you could have glitter on the edge of your sombrero. I like to clean up as I go. So I'm putting all my pom-poms back in the bag. Because if not, they try to escape. Mm -hmm. All right, put that right there. All right, and now you see the whole purpose why I did my blue circle is so I know where to put my glue and then where to place my cup. All right, and remember we have to use plenty of glue. Plenty of glue. Plenty of glue. And we get more glue. I'm gonna go around one more time. And as you see, since we have washable markers, the glue is spreading the color just a little bit. And I'm going inside my line just a little bit so I know that my cup is well covered. All right, and always put your cap back on your glue. And here I'm gonna put my cup. All right, and I apply a little bit of pressure. And look at our awesome sombrero. Look, from the tippy top to the very brim. Thank you for joining me today.